All right, the next thing we're talking about is a PT diagram. It's a pressure temperature diagram. I decided to show up down here on the bottom right of your screen to let you know that my hands are still connected to my body. And uh, this diagram down on the bottom, figure 3 tax 6, it represents a pressure temperature diagram of, of water. And it's divided into three regions. You can see this first region is where water would exist as a solid. And then the next one, it would exist as a, as a liquid. And then down here, you'll see the gas region. These are the three regions. And gas is probably a misnomer. Probably should be called a vapor region. And then up here, we just don't, they don't call it anything in this. We call it just a, it's just a fluid. Because we'll see that we're beyond the critical point up there. So it has uh, behaviors that are somewhat like a, a liquid, somewhat like a vapor, but um, they are unique. Right? So if you're reading along, I'm going to go ahead and raise the picture up here. And uh, this PT diagram divided into three regions, solid, liquid, and gas. And they are divided by three lines, and this is cool. So solid to liquid, we know what that is. That is ice turning to water or water freezing to ice. And we call this the fusion line. So as water's temperature is coming on down, and, it, at, a, and at a constant pressure, as temperature is coming on down, this being pressure, this being temperature, temperature comes on down, and I reach a certain point, and we know that's about 32 degrees. Now, at 32 degrees, I would have water, and if I continued to take energy away, to cool it down, I would have latent heat removal. It would continue to stay at 32 degrees as it turned to ice. And this is called the fusion line. And that energy removal or addition, if I was melting the ice, would be called the latent heat of fusion. We're very familiar with the latent heat of vaporization on our TS diagram. It's displayed right here. That's when we know that water is turning to a vapor. And look here, this is the liquid region where our water would exist. And as, and as I were to raise temperature at a constant pressure, I would cross the line into a vapor. So this is the vaporization line. So just something new, two new things here. We've got a, the fusion line, which occurs when we're turning water to ice or ice to water, that latent heat addition or removal. And then also the solid can go directly to the gas, and that's called sublimation. So when you open up your freezer, sometimes you see that vapor come out where the ice somewhat seems like it's giving off a vapor. Well, in fact, it is. Ice can turn straight to a vapor. So I go solid to the gas region or gas region to the solid region and bypass the liquid region altogether. Now, you'll see that occurs below the triple point. One of the things we need to know, look at these KNAs here. Distinguish between liquids, liquids, vapors, gases, and fluids. And this new thing here called the triple point. The triple point. The triple point. It says three phase lines all come together at this point. We call it the triple point. It is unique. Very unique. This is the temperature and pressure at which all three phases can exist together. So that I can have water, water, ice, and vapor all together at the triple point. And it occurs, you'll see right here in this note, at about 32 degrees and 0 0.089 PSIA. Interestingly, that is generally where your steam tables begin. That's where they begin. So things we need to know, you need to know what this latent heat of fusion is. You need to know what this latent heat of sublimation is and latent heat of vaporization. Remember, any latent heat addition or removal occurs at a constant temperature while the molecular atoms are changing their spacing as they're expanding or contracting is all occurring at a constant temperature. So that's pretty cool. Another thing on this PT diagram is you'll see this critical point. The critical point occurs really, really high, like 3,200 pounds, 750 degrees. We'll get to that in a little more detail. But beyond the critical point, you'll see that you're in the fluid region again. So triple point occurs really, really low temperature and pressure. Critical point occurs really, really high. Your steam tables include data between the triple point and the critical point meaning this is your beginning point of our steam tables. Once again, we're going to introduce them here in a bit, a little more in detail. And the critical point is the ending point. All right?